Hey y'all, it's that time of year again. Rabbit season open. There's so many myths about uh, don't shoot early season rabbits. Uh, they carry tularemia, wait for the first freeze, only months that end in ER. You gotta cook a rabbit to 160 degrees. That's the key. I cook them way past that. Um, my daughter, my family, we love the rabbits. And I love to hunt these like big sandy washes. So I got a couple hours, the sun's going down and I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna see if I can't get a limit of five rabbits. I'll do a quick cleaning. YouTube doesn't love the, the killing and the cleaning on film, so I'm gonna abbreviate it. Uh, and then we're gonna do a little, uh, my favorite rabbit nays. Let's go get them. This is just a little hopper eight. Uh, I think it holds eight cans. It'll hold five rabbits perfectly. Salty ice water brine, that's what's in there. First thing to do is cut off all four digits. So, with a rabbit, you have this real thin little hide on their back. Just a little nick. Like you're taking off his pants and you're taking off his shirt. Just pull. That's one. You can use the top of your cooler as a little bit of a table. I take and just make a little nick up there by the diaphragm. Pull it open. And then just take all that stuff out. A lot of times you have to break this pelvis and make sure you're getting all that intestine out of there. That brine, it'll turn that meat. It's gonna turn that meat pure white. It's gonna be fantastic. You can leave that whole thing in there overnight. In the morning, it'll be pure white and delicious. Good morning, all. Beans and I just finished our morning walk. So I figured I'd come to the yard and tend to these rabbits. Uh, you'll be able to see all the blood that comes out of there. Okay, for the most part, all the rabbits have been processed. I got two big bags of hind quarters. Those are about two and a half pounds a piece. I have a thing of back straps, which is actually off three full rabbits. Two rabbits back straps for this morning. And then all the front shoulders, I'm gonna can like this. And then I'm gonna do a big bulk can of all the ribs, parts, pieces, and then beans will get all that stuff when it's all done. So let's get to making breakfast. All right, I got like maybe a, a quarter, maybe a half pound of backstrap here. I'm gonna dice it up nice and fine, and then I'm gonna shake a little Lowry's seasoning salt on it. Remember, if you're cooking for kids, basic seasonings, Lowry's, butter, you want it salty and savory, always for kids. It's just a safe bet. So I throw it down in the bottom of the pan, add a little butter, and I'm gonna brown it and then I'm gonna bring it to a crispy brown. That way I know I hit that 160 mark. Even though it's not gonna be super tender, I'm safe. All right, this is what I call a dirty egg. I just throw a couple eggs down in the bottom of the pan with all that crusty, I don't know if you even can call it drippings. I just scrape it all together and the key is one piece of American cheese, that processed fake cheese. Makes everything just super creamy. 
just put it all together, cook it down to where it's finished, plate it, and then add your rabbit and you eat everything in one bite. She's not gonna be up for like an hour and I just finished everything, so I'm gonna sample it. Okay, this could be the most visually unattractive thing I've ever made on White Bone Creations. But there it is, dirty eggs and rabbit from yesterday. The beauty of that, uh, what I call ghetto cheese or you know, imitation cheese is it makes everything creamy. So you're overcooking that rabbit intentionally. You're trying to take it too far because that's just what I did. If you wanted it nice and tender, you could just cover it in a stock and let it simmer for hours. But that creamy cheese, man, just makes the whole thing nice. Oh man, I dare you not to love that. All that flavor from the bottom of the pan. The rabbit is just, it's just crazy good anyway. It's one of the most mild meats anywhere. It's easily accessible. They're super easy to clean. It's the perfect starter critter if you're wanting to get involved in hunting. Uh, if you're not worried about how your food looks, dirty eggs and rabbit. Thanks for watching. Lord, thank you for this resource. Thank you for the rabbits. Thank you for the know-how. And thank you for the food. In your name we pray. Amen.